Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this short video, I'm going to uh, show you a simple tax expression that you can calculate day of year or day of quarter. We already have day of month and day of week, but how to calculate the other two in tax? Let's see. Day of month is uh, already a built-in calculation in DAX. When you use the function day, it is actually giving you the day number of the month. Uh, the input here is the date column in my date table. They both are named date. You might have different column name or different variable. So the day will give you the day of month. Day of week is also built-in function. Week day will give you the day of week. You can pass the uh, start day of week as an input if you want. Um, uh, so these two are built-in functions, but um, there is nothing for day of year or day of quarter. However, you can use a simple uh, date difference calculation between the start of the year. So what I have done here is the date diff between start of the year and this given date we have on a day basis plus one that give me the day number of the year, which means the first day would be one and the second day two and all the way to the end. We can have the same uh, calculation for quarter. This time it would be the day of quarter would be and the date diff between that given date and, and start of the quarter. Uh, plus one again. So this, uh, as you can see, the day of quarter starts at the beginning of the next quarter, but day of year still continues. Uh, you can also use the same approach, this time using end of quarter or end of the year to count the, the number of days until the end of the year. For example, this would give me the count of days until end of the year. Uh, like beginning of the year, it is 365 and it is uh, gradually decreasing uh, and same for the count of days until end of the quarter so at the end of the quarter this value should be zero like this is the last day of the quarter 30th of june and then 7th of july we have 91 days until the end of the quarter these calculations might help you in some time intelligence calculations when you are writing dynamic tax measures uh, in Power BI. However, I would suggest to do these in Power Query if you are doing this as a pre-calculation or as a column. Here I just created as a column just to show you how it works. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI.